Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. We are going to be continuing the Titanic tutorial. Now this is officially part 6 of the Titanic tutorial. Part 6 of the Titanic tutorial. Um, part 6 is we're going to be adding our exterior for the ship. But first of all, you guys have been requesting me some arrows I did on my Titanic tutorial. I'm going to go through that real quickly here. And so, one of my comments said that you missed a couple of rooms and I miss. Uh, I, missed a, I missed a couple of rooms, I'm gonna check that. And my other comment is, he said, uh, to check the second deck, because I skipped the whole thing apparently, which is, I probably did. Because my mic wasn't working, sorry to say that, you guys. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm right here. So, if you guys are wondering, this is the bridge, alright? Here's the bridge, I'm gonna give you a tour of how it looks like. Alright, just just for heads up and we're gonna go over for the second deck let's check how let's check any rooms that we missed here mm -hmm. not here nope all right cleared i i assume it's probably the lower decks here but first of all i want to go over the second deck which is uh... yep so this is the second deck all right so we have rooms Rooms, rooms, and then rooms, and then we over here we have cafe cafe area here. Uh, hmm. I said I missed a few rooms. I don't know which ones? Here, hold on, hold on, you guys. So, yeah. I so the second deck is completely different than the other decks. You can watch part two. Uh, I think no. Part three. No, it's part two. It's part three. Part three. Watch part three, you guys, and let's see. Go over right here. But first of all, let me find any rooms that I missed here. I don't think I missed some. Did I? Yeah, I didn't miss any rooms, you guys. The whole thing is completely finished. Are you talking about the bow sections? Yeah. Also, also, uh, fill this, uh, fill this place in with uh, one times four wedges because I looked at it, wasn't nice, so I don't know how I how was it gonna do the the bow area. But since I moved it, I don't know. but anyways, uh, that that's only the rear view here. Nothing that I missed much of you guys. Whatever. Alright. Okay guys, so now So now we're gonna move on the move on to the exterior. Which is the bow interior. We're gonna be starting the bow interior and the stern interior for us. Cause aka the exterior. Because they're the most simplest ones in the whole Also, uh, use a wood a wood. Use just wood? Don't use wooden planks. Just wood. Okay. So we're gonna fill these wood oh, uh, wooden wooden one, one by four beams like this. We're gonna obviously get copy the same exact same stuff over here. So we want this over here. Now this is exact. This is the exact bow replica of the Titanic. Nothing on my Titanic. Nothing much difference. What I'm trying to say is like like no difference really. Just a plain old cargo deck, anchors, tank room, whatever. So I'm gonna get, get rid of these. And you know what? I'm gonna probably speed myself here. And now I'm luckily I'm doing it, I'm filming this on a private server because uh, people kept annoying me during the past uh, recording, recordings, as you can see here. So I'm doing this private server. So so I don't get distracted as much as I were before. Now here I'm adding one by f one by seven beams, as you can see here. Uh, yeah. And here I'm gonna add a one by four beam. We're gonna go like this. So, uh, I guess that would fit. Then we're gonna put one back here. And one, we're gonna put three blocks, five blocks here. Same to the other side. One, two. Three, four, five. Uh, how 
convenient. Alright. So, we'll take this one. There we go. Uh, there's six blocks already. Six, and then we just fill the centerpiece. Or you can just copy out all those two. And now we're gonna paint this just plain bow colors. I mean, the. Uh, what's it called? Uh, this deck color. I'm gonna paint this like this, alright. Then over here, this this is the room where mainly the anchor was and the cargo hatches. So we're gonna put the anchors right here. Don't judge. I never, I never knew how the anchors the anchor room looked like on Titanic. So bear with me here. here. There we go. Anchors. And I'm gonna put an anchor over here. I'm gonna put an anchor bitch over here. Don't judge, it's just please don't judge. I'm gonna put like stuff like anchors like this. There we go. And then we're gonna put colors black and gray. Yeah, alright. I mean you could, I mean you could put a sign here for anchors, we're just gonna put a sign. I don't care how I spell it. Probably 100 times that. Just paint it. No. Alright, well, anchors, whatever. I don't care. Now we're gonna add uh, what's it called? Uh, blocks here. Copy it for the exact for the other side too. So. Mm. Go for it, I guess. I will just do it like this. Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, mm. turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not. It's copy what I'm doing here, right? These are these are our, I'm assuming extra cargo holds or something like that, but like I'm not sure. I, I just add random things to this one, okay? Don't judge the hell I add stuff. Well, this is complete for now. We're gonna move on with the stern first. We're done this. Make sure you save your build, guys, because I I don't want I don't want you guys to repeat the whole entire Detroit like that. Alright, here, so. This, um, all right, here. You guys are gonna have to follow me step by step. Make sure you paint this here, I forgot. There we go. And grab this, make this wood. Wooden blanks, please. I'm not wooden. Wood. Just copy one. I'm gonna go grab the. I'm gonna go grab a color real quick. There we go. All right. So now what you so now what we want to do is we want to go we're gonna go back to uh, the block section and the block set. And select uh, a 1x4 uh, beam. And we're going to place this, that 1x4 beam like this. And then like this. Now, the stern interior is completely different with the bow here. We're going to have to go smaller and the actual stern shape here. Only a little bit. What I mean is, we're only going to go a little bit, a little bit far out because we're not doing the full thing. And there we go. So, so if you were if you were looking what I was doing, I added one by four beams over here and a one by four beams over here and we're gonna fill this in with blocks. So and then we're gonna add diamond plated walls. Now you can now you can just remove this and put a wall here. It's unnecessary, but I'm good. 
so I'm not the cat. Oh. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play some one by seven bit like this. And then we're gonna play some uh, steel pit like this. Like this. Oh no, like this. And yeah, like this. And then play some like this. Copy what I'm doing, y'all. Like this. There we go. So now we just paint this. Paint the same thing as usual. Not, the rules don't change here. And this is a smoking room. So don't, 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 don't be get don't get weird here. It's just this it's literally a smoking room at this I talk. I don't know why White Starline wants people to smoke on their ship. Smoke some shit. It's a 1912 liner, we gotta go for it. So copy what I'm doing here, we're gonna go on blocks, we're gonna select a, a wooden as our materials, but this is wooden materials like this, one, two, three, four. So make sure all, all even over here, so three, I'm gonna add one here, Make sure, I'm, and then I'm gonna add another one here, still even, and then I'm gonna add uh, blocks like this. And then I'm gonna add seats, you don't have to add seats, you can add whatever you like in here. Put some pilot seats over here, pilot seats over here, pilot seats over here, pilot seats over here. There we go. Now we're just gonna paint this brown. There we go. That's our smoking room done. Uh, the stairs. You cannot forget the stairs, can I? Yeah. That is the most important part on the ship the stairs. Get the stairs done, so we're done our smoking room here and and yeah. Over here, I over here we didn't do it. Uh, the only reason why I didn't do this room, you guys, my question here because there's really no point of adding something here, so I'm not gonna add anything. You could you could choose to add anything in this room, probably that's so why you guys ask me that question, but. Alright. <sighs> Don't mind me, guys. So now we're, that we're done the stern, half we done the bow, is uh, well decks. Or should I say the full uh, deck? Now it's time to add the funnels. We're probably thinking, hmm, how are we gonna add the funnels? That's a good question. How do we add the funnel? So how do we add the funnels? Alright. I'm going to what's it called? Uh, select default. We're not using any uh, materials for this area. And what you want to do is you want to place a half block here. Alright, make sure it's like centered here. <laughs> there is really no center point there, right? But I'd assume... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go, uh, look at, a, look at the Titanic phones and get back to you when I'm done. Oh my god. Alrighty, buddy, uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure I'm recording it though. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, so I looked at the I looked at my old Titanic, and apparently the funnel the the funnel is uh, what's it called? Collapsing deck is actually bigger than. So basically, this Titanic tutorial is bigger than my old Titanic. Yes, it's bigger. It's more large. It's like a more large in length. So, what that means is, that means our ship is really long, in length, and it's better than my old one, apparently. But I don't really care about this. I don't care about how I, how I look at the 
got my ships. So over here, <clears throat> we're gonna. So we're gonna add a half block here, and then we're gonna add cylinders like this. Add two. Don't add. Uh, don't add. Uh, what's it called? Four or a, a two, three, or the LC won't be able to open doors. So after we, after we're done adding uh, cylinders, like these two ships. And now. Then we're gonna add motors like this. Make sure they're normal models. Normal motors. <laughs> like so. You see how I'm facing them? And then, um, what's it called? I'm going to add a, a, a round wedge out here. And then we're gonna add half blocks over here. And this is our mechanism for our funnel. Yes, I was taught this, and now I'm teaching it to you guys. Because why not? And so you guys really like my Titanic for some reason. So here, here's the mechanism. Copy the mechanism. And now what, what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, what's it called? Go grab my uh, what's it called? I'm gonna go grab the funnel cover. All right. I'm gonna show you. It. Wait a second. Hmm. Oh, this. I think. No, you know, I'll, I'll just, I'll just show you. So wait for my Titanic to load. Here. Copy the font color shown on screen. While I load in my Titanic. And yes, my character looks just depressed. Like that started. Science editor Steve <laughs> Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. There we go. So now paint this white too, so we don't want the edges to paint like a, a gray color. We want to match with the theme. So when we once we have our final mechanism done, we're gonna add eight cylinder motors. Eight cylinders. So go on stutters. <sighs> I keep stuttering. <clears throat> so go on blocks, go on the cylinders tab and grab uh, uh, five times five cylinders and place them like this. Replace eight of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and and eight. There we go. And paint this. So grab a final mechanism, color mechanism again. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place uh, a regular cylinder. Yeah. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna grab the regular black cover. All right. Don't worry, guys. I'm not racist. And then we're gonna copy the we're gonna copy the funnel. Cylinder layer. So copy what I'm doing here, guys. I'm not gonna explain the whole entire. Yeah, that's our first layer done. And editor, are you kidding? Like time lapse this only a little bit. And I'm gonna. So what? what I'm, gonna, I'm gonna. Actually, don't. Actually, editor, don't time. Don't time lapse. Time lapse this, right? 
So that's our first layer done. I used uh, an, uh, a half wedge and then uh, what's it called? Uh, a half wedge. I, I used a half wedge and then half luxor. I also used a half wedge. <laughs> so two half meshes from different tabs. Um, copy what I'm doing again. Because I'm not going to spend the rest. Make sure to copy what I'm doing. I don't, I also edit it, don't cut this out. There we go, since we're done, now we're done our uh, funnel layer spell cut, uh, our funnel layer, our second funnel cut in layer. Our second funnel layer, we're gonna paint this all in, all entirely black, cause the funnels were black. Don't worry guys, this is not any racism, uh, racist offense here. I'm trying to explain the world, uh, Looks like we're gonna add, we're gonna add a funnel. We're gonna add a smoke pipe like this. You can also use the smoke pipes. Then we're gonna add two regular smoke pipes like this. So this is gonna be tea. This is for our steam, our steam release. All right, and keep these default. Now, we're gonna make the funnels not enclosed this time. And then we can just paint this black. Actually, you know what? We'll have an enclosed. Like how we had our... Our way to turn it Let me keep this. Actually, you know what? Alright, we're gonna add ladders. No, what, copy what I'm doing here. Add these ladders like this. Don't paint that ladder if you're gonna keep the default how it is. So, uh, camera. Yes, we're gonna add cameras to for for our ladders to hold the ladders in place. Uh, we're cameras. Copy what I'm doing here. I use the, I use the snow pipe. Uh, eh. Oh yeah, Ma delete this to add a speaker. Well, we will we'll, we'll need the speakers later on. You could add horns to the ship, like actually like the game's horns to the ship. In case you guys don't have speakers. Now I'm gonna try to get the cameras. Here, here's the cameras. Now you gonna now you can you don't have to copy what I'm doing here, but yeah. Our ladders can be hold. Can hold on to our ladders like this. Now we're now we can paint these ladders how how we please to. Now 
now we're gonna paint this like a like a like a funnel color color thing. I'm gonna make this H. Don't worry about the cameras; they will disappear once you spawn the ship. There we go. It's the first funnel done. Now we need to now we need to evenly space our funnels. To evenly space our funnels because because if not spaced out the funnels the funnel spacing won't work accurate so yeah um, make sure our funnels make sure our funnel space space is exactly 11 wide so we're gonna count by blocks here okay, get make sure to get blocks you guys need to count with me here. so one two Make sure it's centered. Alright. Three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So, so here's our marker over here. Now repeat the same process again. Uh, like I showed you, I'll get back to you when I'm done with second funnel. All right. Also, um, since our Titanic is, since our Titanic is a bit large, unfortunately, we're gonna have to add like a. But it'll be all worth it at the end. So I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay, you know what? Change our plans. Our funnels are gonna be 12 space. So, so our marker was here 11. This is 12. So, so we're gonna add. We're gonna add. Yeah, make sure I'm recording though. So if you guys didn't, didn't know what I just said there, I I said. Uh, I just said uh, that we're going to 12 space our funnels because it's affecting our grand staircase a lot and the funnel will fold because of it. So we're going to add funnels over here. Copy like a funnel thing over here. Copy like copy the first funnel like I just did here. We're going to add the funnel mechanisms here. And now, and now we're gonna take this. We're gonna space it out by by into twelve here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, we might have an issue here, you guys. We might have an issue here. Uh oh, this is not good. Please. Fine. We're fine. <laughs> what I mean by fun is, uh, hold on, let's see if we find it. Forget we find Oh my god, um, yeah. Okay, alright, never mind, we're, f we're fine. But, um, yeah, we're gonna have to show him up. Cheers. 
Okay, guys, we, we don't we didn't need this rebuttal. It was for extra dumb crap. We didn't need this at all. It's alright, guys. We don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need this place. So copy what I just did there. We're fine, alright? Everything's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is not good. Yeah, I guess we want fit there, alright. Then we got. It's okay, guys. We're gonna shorten this down by a bit here. It's fine. Fine for now. You know what? I love, I love them by 12 for spacing out. Would, would, would work just fine. Yeah, it works fine. I'm gonna get back to you when I'm done adding these funnels, and I'll see you in a bit. Hello, guys. All right, good. Alrighty, guys. I am back. Um, that took really long. Sorry about that. But I hope you copied the first part of the funnel build of the Titanic tutorial of the, f the first funnel over here. I copied it for these areas here. And I finished it luckily. To be honest, they didn't, they didn't, they turned out really well, actually. <laughs> not bad as I, not bad as I thought, sorry. And now we're gonna, we're gonna make the motors, the, we're gonna customize the motor buttons. Now this is important because we don't want the motor, this motor to control all of these, cause the, okay, so the motor is gonna control, one, one motor is gonna control the shift's folding, the other motors are gonna control the folding of the funnels, and the excessive, Whatever it's called, exterior. So now we're gonna make buttons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Q and E, and then E and Q. E and Q. We're gonna go with the same exact step here. Uh, it's because he's going to Q, E, and then E, Q. Then we're gonna go over here. Yeah, and then we go with E and EQ. I'm gonna test this out. EQ and QE. Use these buttons that are for the, to fold the ship. But if you're using these buttons for something else, then use different buttons. Okay, because all our script the following. Now let's test this. Alright, let's see how this thing is gonna work. As we see, the funnels work. Mm -hmm. Seriously, even though know, the ship is not. We have no things to work the ship. Yeah, every time I hate this, I don't even know why this happens. So, graphics quality, we're gonna go. I hate when this happens. No, I don't want auto. I don't want auto. There we go. Okay, you know what? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm just taking the number. They worked out. They worked out pretty well. You 
know what? I'm okay. I'm I'm gonna bring the for the fourth funnel forward a little bit because it looks really weird. Probably messed up the four funnels calculations. Yeah, look, the four funnel looks. It's, it's bad as crap. So we're gonna fix the four funnel. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, guys. I'll get back to you when I'm done uh, moving the four, the four funnel forward. All right, guys. I'm back for the four funnel. You can just make it full cylinders since it's a, it's a dummy funnel. Uh, but make sure that the four funnel is the same height with the other ones in cylinders. So there's no smoke, no nothing. It's just a dummy funnel. Whatever. So technically, the the four funnel is just it's just a dummy because that's how it was. It was yes, it was. Uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna add a cylinder. Take me. This is, that shouldn't, this shouldn't take me very really long to do. And also, we're, we're gonna switch the the funnel buttons again because uh, the uh, my buttons were wrong. And that, that's how I usually not the ships. So we're gonna we're gonna switch. So we're gonna switch this to E and Q. No, uh, E and Q. Then we're gonna make this uh, e, uh, Q E stands for Queen Elizabeth. We're gonna make it Elizabeth Queen. No, E Q Q E E Q E Q E Q. E -Q. There we go, we're done with the funnels. That took that took almost half the victory, but like that 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 is mainly the biggest part on the ship is your funnels. You can't have a ship without funnels. It doesn't make any sense. Unless it's a modern uh, unless it's a weird type ship, whatever you call it. Attempt to, and yes, the buttons work. Uh, nothing falls off the ship, that's good. A. And the funnel's a bit short on the ship, but. It still looks okay. Still the four horn buttons, they work. The four funnels. There you go, that's our Titanic. I'm probably gonna fix that third funnel. It was the third funnel, my friend.
fix this again. And also, guys, make sure you save your belts. I'm just gonna fix this one. Right there we go. There we go. My phones are complete. Now, thank you guys for watching. Now, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'm jumping, jumping. We're not done. Thank you guys for watching. We're not, even, we're not even close to being done the interior. Yes, I want I want the ship to have an interior deck exterior. Interior exterior. We already done the interior. No need. So now we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some cargo hatches like this. Back here. We're at the stern. Make sure to add these cylinder posts like I did. We're gonna do those. We're gonna add. I'm going to mess around with those later. But first, add these. One. Dude, I'm. I am a wreck. So. Make sure it's 3x3 three three wide. Alright guys, hold on. I'm gonna just one for a After when you're done adding that cargo hatch, you're gonna add a cylinder like this. And then we're gonna add the same exact cylinder like this. And then we're gonna add another cylinder right here. And right here. There we go. That's our marker, that's our mark, our markers for our uh, cranes. We're gonna, do the, we're gonna do the same thing with the bow. Since we're done our marker our markers for our cranes here. We still have one at the front of the bow markers. Now which not now after you add that cargo hold here, since when it's done, we're gonna add the, we're gonna build the crane, so follow me here. You can use you can use paint blocks, you can use blocks. I'm gonna use paint blocks. So you wanna we wanna add one, two, one, two of off blocks or paint blocks, whatever. Then, then we're gonna go to which is two. And then we're gonna uh, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna add uh, a regular round wrench in like this, like this, like that. Like like and then we're gonna go to wedges and I'm gonna grab a one by two wedge, like so, like so, like so, like so. Just like this, like a one by two wedge here, a one by two wedge on top. One by two wedge here, one by two wedge on top. Only four. Like so. so we just got the wedge. And now after that, we're gonna add a half cylinder like this. I think so. Alright, that's our first crane done. I'm going to do the second crane. Here, I'm gonna make sure, make sure it's visible because I'll just get it on the visible. 
it's something like this. This. Let's start creating here. Now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this to all of uh, the cream the cream markers over here. And I'll see you in one. Alrighty, buddy, I am back. <clears throat> I am back with uh, what's it called? Uh, mm, what's it called? Making the cranes over here. So they should look like something exactly like this. They're beautiful cranes. Look beautiful in the size of the ship. It's white. How racist. The game is racist. It's white. We can't see the cranes. It's, it's like... What are you? Just, just ignore what I just said, okay? It's like, I don't make any sense at all. So now we're gonna... Um, so now what we're gonna do is, we're going to uh, grab ladders. They're gonna be our railings. They're going to act as railings. Alright, so I'm gonna do like this. Just copy what I'm doing. All right, we're going to do one over here. Do one over here. Now I'll get back. I'll get back to you when I'm done filling out the fences. Already, guys, I am back from filling out the fences. Let me make sure I'm recording. Yay. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna add the flagpole. Yes. It's gonna be red. Red for sus. I'm joking. And we're gonna add this red pole. Oh, we're gonna add this and this. I'm gonna add one by two wing panel. There we go. Ta-da! Flagpole. There. Approved. This means this is approved by Red Star Line. Trust me, it will not sink. I promise you that. Wink, wink. Or will it sink? Foreshadowing. Anyways. Once we're done that, so we're done fe since we're done, done the railing at the back of the stern, we needed to do it for the bow, and that is easy. We are going to cover this up. So, let's drop the third stand. We'll check here. Let me save everything here. Make sure to save your build as promised. Let's go fly off! Parachuting down! Alright, I'm ready for my ship to load. Alright, there we go. So, I was correct.
Dun, 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 dun. Here, I found the ship again. All right. Whoa. I'm gonna almost fell off the ship again. Oh, that's okay. That's where I'm out in wheeling, so I don't fall off the ship like I, like I was just about to. Now, copy what I'm doing here. This is really important. No, don't, don't. Mine sounds, mine, the background sounds just okay. It's just, just fine. There we go. There. Now it looks like a real ship with railings. It looks so much better now. So I have to go to the No, no, thank you. Like this, thank you. There we go. Also, make, leave like a three gap over here because we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put our, that's our mass area. We're gonna put it there. So we are going to delete this. Yes. And then we're going to add blocks. And then there's the regular wedge because we need it for our our mass stopper. And uh, make sure it's safe. There we go. The back hurts. It's all worth it at the end. Alright. Got down from my stretch here. Alright. Um. I'm not tired right now, but like, yeah. So, what you guys want to do is right now, you want to, uh, what's it called? Add. Yeah, you want to add two of, uh, two of the, uh, three half blocks like this, and then, and then go, and then go, and then add half block. Half block wedges. I can't spell today. Make something like this. This is our anchor for a ship. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful anchor. Don't judge it. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I, I said it's beautiful. Don't judge it. That, that's the auxiliary anchor in case one of the Titanic's anchors were to break or fall down. We have a spare one right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the deck details. Tells it, so. We'll do the we'll do the same for the stream. And over here, over here we're gonna we're gonna what's it called? Grab. We're gonna add this. And we're gonna add this to somewhere in the middle, okay? And then we'll copy our final color. Slap it on, slap it on like this, and then do one, two, three. Essentially, we're gonna do something like this.
Looks horrible. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. That's a proper size right there. Absolutely. We're just gonna add a ball at the end. Where are the balls? Here. I'm gonna add half, a half ball like this. And we'll paint this in black. Okay, that's our. That's our, it's essentially another crane at the back. I'm not sure what this is, this is called. But. Who gives a damn crap? Now we're going to add. We go back to half wedges. We're gonna add. add I guess to, uh, like, we're gonna add a half wedge too. Something like this, I'm going to do it like this. Make sure it's in the center. Here. And we're going to add widgets like this. And we're going to add, and then add the half blocks over here. So, like, when one of our like our mass folds, it's just going to hit the end. And sorry. My right there, hit the end of the tip on that on that on that tip of the wedge block here. Now we're gonna add motors here. Now it's now it's okay if the motors is here, cause who cares? This part's just gonna fold, it, right? This doesn't affect the shape that much. Just and we're gonna pick this gray. Three, 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 three. Alrighty guys, so after after we're done our cage like this, it should look something exactly like this. Now we're gonna just add a, a cargo bay like here, over here. This is how I made my ship. Copy it. It's okay if you paint like something wrong. It's fine. I do that. Everybody makes mistakes. It's common. But we've eventually fixed it. There we go. Our bow is interiors is completely done. We just need to add the mass. The mass will come last. Alright. To also grab it and go copy that last part too. I'm gonna slap it in here. Yeah, that'll more effective. There we got our masts in place. I'm gonna save our Titanic again. There. Now that we're uh, like right now currently done our Titanic spell, we are now going to add the on the extra interior. <laughs> so, I mean here. so first of all, we need, we need we need to finish this turn. That's one thing. Or is 
the reason why I'm doing these walls is really, these are gonna act like benches. Really tall, thick benches. I don't I do not care. Also get the seats here, but I'm not gonna. It's just a waste of time painting the seats. There we have extra seats in Titanic in case people wanna launch the ship with you. And now we're gonna add the what's it called? The docking bridge? I believe. This is the second part of the docking bridge, don't worry. This, 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 and then we're going to add these. Now you can make an. Now you can make an overhang. All right, nothing's stopping. Focus attack. Uh, Actually, maybe I can. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna make a bit of an overhang. There we go. We have we have more room. Now we're gonna add deck. Now we're gonna add deck details. Like so. These are what's it called? An uh, rope anchors. So you hold the ropes here and then kill the ships. So the ship doesn't fall away in the water. Oh, in open water and sink. Because that would be a loss for There you go, we're done this turn. Which is called uh, the back of the ship in case you don't know. Look at that, the overhead looks nice. I should really do like over it. Okay, since we're done this turn, we're going to add the deck and we're going to add the compass tower now. Mm, the compass tower? You guys probably think the compass tower? What do you mean the compass tower? I'll show you. <laughs> Just copy what I'm doing here, don't worry. No. There we go. This is the compass tower where the people can look uh, uh, what's it called? You guys can work on the ship, okay. Monitor mon mon monitor where 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 you go. Ok, 
character Synthacus, guys. Sorry. He, 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 he has been... My character has been having rough times. And then... Grabbing emoji if you're on phone, that's here lucky because we're gonna, cause you can add a compass emoji really fast. So I think it's here for the copy and paste. That's unfortunate. And sometimes this game will break. Oh, this is an update. Oh, wow. When has Lemon got new emojis? Jesus. Alright, wow. Oh, wow. This is much different. Hey yo, uh, what? Uh, we need props. Obvious. Oh, Alright, that looks. There we are, a compass. This is impressive. The Windows 11 emojis look imp impressively well made. Wow. There we go. Here's our compass. There. I'm done the compass tower. And now we're going to add final deck details on the ship, and then our mass, and then we're going to add our mass, and then we're done. Cylinders like this. Just gonna add random deck details. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go around here. Around here. Around here. And oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna add the fan too. That's on the front. That's on the front of the ship. I'm going. I'm adding these uh, ventilators on the ship. All right. Just so you know. I'm going to add the pontoons. Are going to act as the ventilators uh, to curve. To. That's a pontoon middle. I don't want a pontoon middle. I want not that much. Better punk. Where 
Now you, you don't have to use punk tools, you can use uh, a round wedge, if that works as well. That, that's for people that don't have punk tools, you can use a round wedge for this, for this occasion. Now I'm going to add red dots to replicate the red the insides, the vents inside of her. The red part that's inside the vent. I don't know why I closed that tab, but I'm an idiot. It's fine. I'm directly go to symbols. Can this change? Where are the circles? That's, that's a pretty good ship of that, that guy's making. There we go. That's our ventilators done. On the ship. Now we're gonna add the fences to add more deck details. These details are important. Light bulbs are gonna come last, you guys. I promise. Here I'm not gonna add ladders for that area in specific. There we go. That's our railings done. Looks cool. Maybe like I'm gonna add more. You, you can add more ventilators, you guys, if you want. I'm gonna add one. Right, I'm gonna add my extra detail. You, you guys don't have to. Alright, I'm back. That was quick. We've done our deck details, finally. And then our, our, our only last thing to add is the masts, and then our ship's technically complete. We're almost done. Sorry, guys. We're almost done. The mass. I, I'm gonna teach you how to add the mass first. Right. So, roughly about here, I'm gonna. Roughly about here, I'm gonna add a block. Okay, this is where our cro this is where our crow's nest is gonna go. This copy what I'm doing, guys. Just gonna be a three by three crows next.
All right, I'm gonna, now I'm going to add ladders going up to this specific part of the ship. This is our our, our really shaped crow's nest, but I like it. It's nice. I'm going to grab the that blo that dirt cutter we use for our masts. This gives a more realistic look to our Titanic's masts. There we go. I'm painting things again that I don't want to paint. do this quick here. Um, I'm gonna drop healing blocks. We're gonna rotate it like this. Three, two, one. You have to do this on mobile, unfortunately. So we eventually get to the tip. All right? We delete this. Uh, we delete this block. Correct. And then. There we go. Yep, you, you have to you have to do like this, and then and then rotate it in the place it quickly before it uh, before it like it doesn't count. It doesn't count as a build height. All right, do that trick. That that's how I got it to be the tallest mast. And this is how the mast is gonna be tall than a front, because obviously. Right, our ship has our mast. We need to do the rear rear ship. Folding buttons. Now we need here. When we're not, we're gonna, we're not gonna add a crow's nest at the back of the mask because there wasn't in the first place. Get rid of this. We add the helium blocks. Make sure it's rotated. And boom. It's now our ma now our mask is uh, it's past the height limit. Yes, please. There we go. Now we're gonna fold our ship. See how this how it goes from this point on. Uh. And water? Why do they spawn in water? <laughs> My bad, you guys. So we're gonna spawn in in our plot. go that's our ship fully folded can fold now the funnels looks pretty even I'm not gonna lie and our mouse looks pretty even wow wow this is amazing this is 
purposely large and amazing. There we go, you guys. And that's our Titanic Part 6, I guess. The last part of the ship is making it float, and then the ship can float. Well, I guess this is almost the end of the tutorial series, you guys. I'm very sad now. And there we go. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hopefully, those things I went over with are 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 uh, help you guys more out. That I filled up the rooms and I showed you the the second deck on the part. If you guys have any suggestions since telling me what happened with your Titanic and like what problems are you having with tell me and I'll try to go over with, with it. But anyway, I think I think this tutorial looked good. Make sure to save your build. All right, and then um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.